Chauncey Vale was famous for its peregrine falcons, uh, mostly because the pigeon fanciers used to come in here and kill them incessantly, and it was an old habit, a habit that started from before the Second World War. And when Anton took over this place, he stopped them coming in, and that created a huge furore. They burned his bridge, cut his power lines, all sorts of stuff. He got beaten up once. Because of that knowledge of the peregrines here, this was a, an early stop for us to learn about the birds. And we met Anton, he showed us about, and then we used to come and go uh, at will, um, always uh, with a cup of tea and a, a bit of uh, extremely dense uh, fruitcake from Anton. My father was the one who was really disturbed about loss of habitat and conservation here. He grew up in far north of Germany, Poland, that area, Königsberg, and did an agricultural degree there in Deer. So he was interested in that sort of thing before he came out. This place is special really because someone like Anton, who was a refugee from Europe before the war, had the courage, the insight to get this place because it was being nibbled away at by the locals. He was really concerned that if we lose these things, we lose whole species and communities of life. We're also diminishing our own lives in many ways. He felt very strongly that if you have land, you have a responsibility for that land to preserve what's living on it, as well as to make a living from it. I think we've sort of lost, tended to lose that to a large extent in Australia because it was such an effort to make a living to the very beginning. The culture's come down that, you know, it's there to be used. But we really do have to preserve and take care of what we have because it's all we have and if we lose it, then we may not be able to continue ourselves.